Hi, this is Tony. Are you the proud new owner of a field spaniel? They're great dogs, aren't they? Great to have around. But when you first get them, you may find that you're going to need to potty train them. And most of us are not uh, born knowing how to potty train our dogs. Well, not to worry. There is a resource for you, and you're looking at it right now, this website, where you can come and get a free mini report that will give you all the information you need to effectively house train your new field spaniel. The field spaniel was developed in England. The dog had been developed through a careful breeding of the English Cocker Spaniel. However, during the last 1800 attempts at breeding to greatly exaggerate the length and weight of the field spaniel by employing poor selection practices had almost ruined the breed. By the 1920s, the folly had been brought to light and breeders had turned towards modernization and adopting of superior breeding measures. Despite this, and despite the fact that the dog is talented at tracking, hunting, retrieving, and acting as watchdog, the field spaniel is today perceived as a rare dog. The field spaniel is moderately sized. It is slightly heavier and longer in body than the cocker. The dog has a long and silky coat. This has a liver or black solid color. There may be tan markings on the dog's body. Some may also be freckled. There may be a little bit of white in the chest region. Legs, chest, ears, tail, and undersides of the dog are feathered abundantly. In these regions, there are all straight hairs here, not curled. The field spaniel has got a regular muzzle that is neither too wide nor too pointed. Its nose is large and has very open nostrils. The dog has got almond-shaped eyes that are either hazel or chestnut brown. Its neck is strong and muscular. The dog is somewhat longer than taller. Its tail is usually docked. An important show ca characteristic of the breed is that below the eyes it is lean and thin. The field spaniels have moderately long, broad, and fringed ears that hang down. Field spaniel dogs have heights ranging between 17 and 19 inches. Field spaniel dogs weigh between 35 and 55 pounds. Field spaniels figure among spaniels having the best personalities. Though the dog has got an independent nature, yet it behaves in a sweet and affectionate manner. It is smart, active, and playful. The dog is especially known for its docile nature. The dog needs to be socialized well when young in order to avoid excessive timidity arising later in life. This also helps prevent the development of aggressiveness as the dog gets older. The dogs like to roam around. They are good with other dogs, other pets, and children. However, if the play with children gets too rough, the dog may become withdrawn. The dogs are quick learners. Kind and consistent training is what these sensitive dogs need. The dog must never be locked away in a kennel, as regular contact with people is very crucial for their physical and mental wellness. Being primarily a field, being primarily a working field dog, the field spaniel needs plenty of exercise daily. It is best if the sporty fit. It is best if a sporty family adopts the dog as a pet. The dog is most happy if it gets the opportunity of independently roaming and exploring following the interesting sense it knows gathers. However, it can also easily adapt itself to some suitable exercise routine set up for it by its owners. Taking the dog out for long walks daily on a leash can be a very good way of providing sufficient exercise to the dog. It is not advisable to keep the field dog inside an apartment. The dog is best provided with some outdoor shelter in a large enough fenced yard. They need to be kept in a fenced area because they have hunting instincts and may take off after some interesting scent if not kept within an enclosure. Now to the issue of the potty training. Did you find another puddle in your house or did you walk into the living room and discover a pile of poop? Do you feel like you are spending all your time taking the dog outside or cleaning up messes in the house? You are not alone, but you do not need to be in this situation. Your puppy or adult dog can be fully potty trained and you can be free of cleaning up messes or accidents all the time. 
Puppies under six months of age are not fully developed and will have trouble being able to hold their urine and feces. However, if you learn to know when they are likely to potty, you can anticipate their needs and get them out to a potty place at the right time. Does your dog always use the same area in the yard for his potty needs? If not, you may need to start over on training him where to potty. Put his leash on him when you take him out and always take him to the same area. Always use a word such as business as a buzzword to let him know what you want him to do. Stand still and hold the end of the leash so he cannot investigate the entire area, but is limited to a specific spot. And do not let him play until he is pottied. Does your dog only have occasional accidents? First, make sure that your dog does not have any health problems. A trip to your local vet may be in order. Then try to understand when he has his accidents. Is it 30 minutes after eating, while he is playing, right after he gets up, or is released from his crate, when greeting people, etc.? Does your dog only mess when you leave him alone? Does he only do it in a certain room of the house? Does he mark your furniture? Learn what causes these behaviors and how to work with your puppy or adult dog to solve the problem. If you work and must leave your dog at home for long hours, you need to know, need to learn how to effectively crate train your dog as well as how to successfully potty train him so that he always eliminates in the appropriate place at the appropriate times. Potty training like all other types of dog training involves positive reinforcement. Learn how to deal with accidents appropriately without hitting your dog or making a big deal out of it. That's not going to work. Some breeds are easy to house train as they don't like for their living quarters to be messy or smelly, or they really like to please their owners. Other breeds are more difficult to housebreak. Others may take a special type of housebreaking. However, with patience and persistence, your dog can be house trained. It is important for you to understand and have an established routine that's consistent in your expectations of your dog. The easy way to look at the routine you need to establish is that any time there is a break during the day or a change of direction in your dog's day, take the dog to his potty place. Five keys to your success are when your dog gets up, take him to the potty place. Feed your dog on a regular schedule, which will eventually be twice a day, about 10 to 12 hours apart. As he eats or drinks anything, Take him to the potty place right after. After your dog plays or exercises, take him to the potty place. Withhold water for two to four hours before your dog goes to bed. Just prior to taking him to bed, take him to his potty place. Now what I'd like for you to do is to come to this website. I'm going to leave a link below the video. where You can come and get a free mini course. You come here, you put your dog's name in, your name, your email address, click subscribe, and they're going to send that report straight to your inbox with tips and tricks for taking care of your new dog. And be sure to visit us at their great dogs, aren't they, where you can find everything that you need for your new dog, whether it's dog beds, dog food, bowls, carriers, treats, everything you need can be found right here at www.theirgreatdogsaren'tthey.com. This has been Tony. I want to thank you for listening today.